So in adding volume zones to your application, we can basically just wire from the amplifier to one of these attenuators or to multiple attenuators. Uh, you can do that by doing multiple home runs from the amplifier to multiple individual attenuators, or we can actually wire from an amplifier in parallel to multiple individual um, volume controls as needed, and then connect our speakers that we want to control. That's a great way to create multiple volume zones, but we est essentially still have the same source playing in all areas. If we go back to our restaurant that we talked about earlier, uh, with a single zone mixer amplifier, we can add these additional volume zones, but all of these speakers are going to be playing the exact same source, the same music in all areas. That means if we go to page to tell table 32 that their food is ready, or if we want to say that someone's table is ready, it's going to come out of all of the speakers. Uh, that's because we only have one main uh, input zone or source zone. Um, there's a lot of different terms for that same concept. But we have multiple volume zones to give us control of the volume in those levels.